Limited in his power to change matters, Lenin committed his fears to paper in what became part of his testament. Stalin has, he said, unlimited authority. I am not sure whether he will always be capable of using that authority with sufficient caution. He is too rude, a defect intolerable in a general secretary. A way should be found to remove Stalin from that post. Lenin turned to Trotsky to help form a bloc against Stalin. He asked Trotsky to launch the attack at the forthcoming 12th Party Congress. But Lenin's two secretaries, Vatyeva and Volodycheva, secretly passed on to Stalin Lenin's testament and his appeals to Trotsky. So Stalin arrived fully prepared for the Congress in 1923. It was the first Congress without Lenin, too ill to attend. But Trotsky did not defend the Georgians, nor did he attack Stalin. He'd done a deal with Stalin and the others. The deal was he could present his own economic program as long as he kept quiet about Stalin and the Georgian issue. A key opportunity to halt Stalin's progress was lost. And then, on the 21st of January, 1924, Lenin died. In his testament, Lenin had seemed to argue for a collective leadership. He'd passed the testament to his wife, Nadezhda Krupskaya, to open after his death. Stalin, of course, had read it and knew it contained Lenin's advice to have him removed from office. He'd had time to plan his strategy. Lenin's widow handed the testament over to be made public at the 13th Party Congress. In the event, it was read out at the Central Committee meeting before the Congress. Boris Bajanov, then one of Stalin's secretaries, was there as Zinoviev spoke. You all know, friends, that everything we promised to do, we promised to do it, and we will do it. But every word of the law is the law. But we are happy to realize that what he was afraid of the law относительно нашего генерального секретаря ЦК не случилось, что наша работа в течение последних месяцев с генеральным секретарем была превосходной и никаких трений в Центральном комитете нет. Все знали, что это неправда, потому что уже в полном разгаре была борьба за власть против Троцкого и вообще, и все очень потупили глаза. Сталин сидел на краю трибуны, лицом обращенным к окну, так что его члены Центрального комитета видеть его лицо не могли. Но я его очень хорошо видел, потому что я был на трибуне. У него было напряженное лицо, решалась его судьба, останется он у власти или нет. Он смотрел в окно. Поставили вопрос на голосование сейчас же после этого, и большинство Центрального комитета проголосовало за то, чтобы Сталина оставить генеральным секретарем. Прений не было. The speech worked. Stalin survived thanks to an arrangement he'd reached with Zinoviev on the left and Kamyanev on the right. They had agreed to protect Stalin in exchange for Stalin's support in fighting Trotsky. <laughs> 